Ah, Gyrotodus, nature's piscine reimagining of fecal matter. Oh, what is that? Oh my, oh no. I guess we are doing you today then. My name is Basil Geese. I'm Candy Crabbane, and welcome to True Facts of the Basil Geese. Pineconicus Stealth Bombus Basil Geese is one of the most prolific invaders in all of Monster Hunter history, meaning that he is very lonely and spends all of his time trying to get attention. And as such, is notorious for ruining landscape camera shots of the New World, also known as photobombing. As an invader, the Bagel Goose has enhanced flying abilities, able to attain high speed for long duration without much effort, much like the ostrich. However, unlike the ostrich, the boot caboose has an organ referred to as a beard that incessantly produces grenade-like scales on both the head and its tail. These scales, when deployed or shaved off of the beard of the beaties, become armed. And not only will they begin to explode when touched, but they also look sort of like bull testicles. Yeah, you try getting that image out of your head. Normally, while the scales are attached to their chin based umbilical cords, they are harmless, and you could even hold one without any danger, because I know you really want to hold it, you kinky, curious little human being. However, when the Basil Geass gets upset either due to pain or simply hearing bad news... Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but the Coral Highlands Cafe does not serve Aptonoth meat. No! It takes advantage of a special organ that it has to shoot fire, called a flame sack, and heats up its own blood, making the scales of the Boogie Zeus prime preemptively and detach already beginning to explode. The scientific explanation of this process is relatively simple. Vibration of molecules creates heat, essentially replacing the need to rub the scales on a larger scale by touching them a hell of a lot more on the microscopic scale. In layman's terms, when the battle geese is angry enough, it will vigorously rub its testicle-shaped scales with pure energy, causing them to explode. If you wish to avoid imminent death to a bat elk moose, the only tool you need to carry is your own poop. What? Most people use poop from other monsters rather than human poop? Well, that's just inefficient. Why chase something down when you yourself produce it in buckets? Well, in toilets these days, but you really... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Hairball. The Basil Geass has enhanced hearing, which allows it to hear a hunter attempting to have fun within 30 kilometers. Oh look, there he goes to stop the fun. The trade-off for this is his horrid eyesight, mostly caused by how fucking tiny his face is. Look at this thing. Imagine if humans had faces that only took up the space of your nose and mouth, and you might understand the life of a baggage leaf. When it comes to putting things in his mouth, the Beagle Beast is a fan of just about anything, willing to eat everything it happens to kill by accident on its journey. Really, watch him hunt. He can hear fighting from miles away, but when it comes to within five feet of him, he might as well be a fish in a very, very dark room, or a dog in a very, very dark room, or a basil geas in a very, very dark room. Uh, sight does, in fact, not get better when it gets dark. What else is dark is the bridal bee's recreational activities, with his favorite hobby being dynamite fishing. Don't worry, folks, he throws them back in. The natural predator of the Babel Fleece, as with most monsters, is the Blue Prince, Doodoo Gamer. All it takes is one strong fireball to the anus of the Basil Geese, and it will retreat to its nest. What he doesn't know, however, is that the Dodo Gamma has infected him with a parasitic rock creature that will eat him alive in his sleep, while also cooking him to a nice, medium rare. This leaves the Dodogama at his spot at the top of the Monster Hunter food chain and ends the cycle of life for the Basil Gears. I'm Candy Crabbane, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay sweet.